Hi everybody, how are you? It's Leslie from Leslie's Creative Studio and it is time for Explorations of Me for May 2019. The prompt that Cindy gave us this month is what is holding you back? And you know that really prompted me <laughs> to really stop and think about that because there's so many things that could hold us back. And when I really got to it and sat down and really thought about it, um, I think the thing that holds me back the most is time, is time and relegating my time, delegating my time um, appropriately. Uh, so that's what my page is going to be about. And I am going to gather some supplies and bring them here. I have no idea where I'm going to go with this. I just know it's going to be a, um, a page. <laughs> so I'm going to bring you along for the journey and I will see you on the other side. Okay, so before I get going, I just want to show you some of the things that I've pulled out that I'm going to work with and play with and see what we can come up with. This is some um, craft colored deli paper. It sounds really good. I like it. I also have some paper scraps and this is all from Prima from the engraver um, collection. I'm not sure what the name of this piece is but I know I'm going to use some of this and this is this page is called calligraphy and it's the engraver collection and I'll put a link below um, in the description below to all the different um, things that I used. So you can check them out. And I have a piece of coffee dyed paper. And I'll also link my video, I'll link in the description below, the video where I showed you all about my coffee dyed paper, which also sounds really cool and smells really good too. Okay, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do here. I'm just going to start fussy cutting and piecing and collaging and we'll see where we go. Oh, you know what else I have? Mm, yeah, these things, awesome. Love them. So, all right, like I said, links in the description below. Let's get started. You see what I've done so far. I took the clock, the time piece, and I glued it onto this piece, and I glued it onto this piece, and it's all been inked with the Timber Brown stays on. These are inked, so I'm going to go ahead and glue these down, and I'm using the Art Glitter Glue. Um, I have found that this glue is amazing. Um, with paper. Um, it comes down pretty fast. It, it really, it grips quickly. Um, so yeah, but yeah, time, 
you know there's just there's just not enough time in the day you know yes I do work um, during the day but still you know um, I just can't seem to get enough time in the day to get everything done that I'd like to I mean I get a lot accomplished don't get me wrong um, but there's so much more that I would like to do yeah that looks about right I'm going to center it right about close to the edge, but not quite. Um, and pardon the dog you hear in the background. Sorry. But many of you have heard her bark before. But as soon as she hears a leaf drop or, you know, my son being my son, a pain in the butt, well, then, you know, she barks. So let's see, we'll do this up here. And again, this is from the Prima Engraver Collection. It's one of my favorite vintage collections. And it's got some really cool pieces in it. And in case you're wondering about this glue, yes, it does come with this really cool metal tip. So I um, I stamped on here on my coffee stain paper with like a dot stamp and a script stamp. I have no idea what collection they're from. I have taken all of my stamps and just put them into binders. So I have no idea what's what. So I apologize about that ahead of time, but there's really not a whole lot I can do. <laughs> I really needed to get them organized. Okay, now I've got the title for my page right here. I've stamped it on um, using these stamps that I showed you earlier. Ooh, that's upside down. No, that's upside down. Ah, sorry. I've used these stamps and I stamped out my um, sentiment or my title. And I stamped it onto the craft paper, the uh, craft deli paper. So I'm going to cut those out and ink the edges, and then I'm going to glue them down, and I'll be right back. You don't want to watch me cut this out; it's boring. I'll be right back. Okay, let's get these words down, shall we? I'm going to put this first. Put this down first. And I apologize in advance if my hands are a little shaky. Some of my meds do that to me. <clears throat> it's not always a fun thing. <laughs> but take time. Yeah, that stands out. Take time. And that's the key, too, is when you're putting a sentiment down, you kind of want it to stand out a little bit. And all I did was just run it along the edge of that. Time to... How do I want to do this? To make your what? Something like that. Oops, sorry if I'm out of frame here. My brain's going about a thousand miles an hour today. I don't know what the deal is. Here we go. Scoot that up a smidge. But you know what? I hope you take time to do a little bit of art. It uh for me it just it's just a 
therapy of sorts. But I just love to create. I just love it. So this is just a, you know, and in a, some of the work that you're going to see coming from me, I'm really following my muse that we talk about in um, my creative year where I'm also a teacher. That my muse is really screaming vintage. I don't know what the deal is, but I'm going to follow it wherever, wherever she takes me. I'm going to follow it. I had talked to some of the girls in a chat, and they were like, just follow it. If that's where she's telling you to go, follow it. And that's what I'm going to do. Take time to make your art sing. Put this in here. And then what I'm going to do to finish it off, I'm just going to go around the edge. And I'm going to go kind of thick on the corners like that a little bit so it kind of stands out. And when you do this, it just kind of finishes it off. Gives it that worn look. And this is, like I said before, this is this paper is um, the coffee dyed paper, and I'll put a link to it. And I'll even try and put a little I card up in the corner here somewhere. I'll do it a couple times. I just learned how to do it. I thought it was fun. <laughs> But, and then I just glued it onto some watercolor paper that I'll glue into my book. So this is my page. Take time to make your art sing. And that's what holds me back, is not having enough time to get everything done that I want to get done. Um, there's so much out there that I want to explore, and I will. I will. It'll get there. I have to be patient. But I think it turned out just beautiful. Um, I hope you enjoy it. And I think I may mark around that. Let me check. Hold on. Okay. I'm not sure how much this is going to show up, but we're going to try. It's kind of a lighter brown. Yeah, that works. Why not? So I'm just going to highlight this around here. And I love stamping onto tissue or deli paper. It really adds um, a neat texture to it, to your work. Um, and when you use clear or white tissue, you can tear it. And I put mine on with um, golden matte medium. But if you use the golden matte, if you put this on using white and stamp on it, and then put it down with a matte medium, that tissue is just going to disappear um, into your paper. And it'll, it will look like um, you printed right there on the paper. Oops, I got some medium on there. That's all right. There. Yes, much better. Much, much better. All right. Put a little bit more down over here. Because there's a lot going on right here. There we go. A little bit more up here. Take time to make your art sing. And that will do it for me. This is Leslie McGrath from Leslie's Creative Studio. And this is Explorations of Me for May 2019. I hope you all have a great week, and I'll see you real soon. Bye, y'all.